We are back for another edition of This Just In, What's in My Mailbox, or What's Come in My Mailbox, PR and Purchases in the last month. Um, I didn't intend to do one this quickly, but the, the stuff has piled up again. Um, and I just, there's no experience more sobering than doing your taxes and realizing just how much money you spent last year. <laughs> I haven't even started like trying to total out so far what I've spent this year, but um, I need to sort of get on that so that way I'm not spending what I spent last year. I definitely overspent last year for sure and I need to try to rein that in this year. So um, I am doing another one of these today. It did seem to go over pretty well with you guys. The last one I did, you guys seem to enjoy, you know, that format, you know, maybe bringing to you guys some new brands you hadn't heard about yet or seeing what some companies had released, seeing what my purchases were, because I've got a little bit of both. I've got a couple of new brands in here that you may or may not have heard of. I've got some of my own purchases. I've got some new releases from some new, some brands. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much what we've got here. You seem to enjoy this last time, so even though I'm doing this a little bit sooner than I would have liked to do another one, um, I, it was just getting a little bit out of control on my dining room table, which is sort of where everything goes when it comes in the mail. I just put it on my dining room table until I figure out what I want to do with it. And over the last, like, three or four weeks since I filmed that last video, it's just, um, I've accumulated a little bit more than I thought I would or intended to. But I actually don't have a lot coming, you know, in the recent weeks that I'm aware of, so... Um, I may not do one of these for another month or two, but if I have something, if I, if it starts to pile up, I will do one of these because you guys seem to enjoy it. And this one is a little bit different. Um, I do have a sponsor for part of this video. It's a new brand that I'm working with. It's one that I wanted to bring to you guys because when I heard the owner's story, I read about the product, um, I read the ingredients, I was really impressed with it, and it is one that I do want to bring to you guys. So, um, it's a little bit different in that usually in my sponsorships, I will try the product first, um, for a few months and then talk about them, but because I'm going to be working with this brand, and, um, for at least a couple of videos so I can introduce this product to you. Um, this one, I haven't tried the product yet, so this is going to be a continuous partnership. So you will be seeing this at least a few times. So yeah, and then depending on how it goes and how you guys respond, um, we'll determine whether or not I guess I do something like this again or um, whether we continue working together, but I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it. Um, so I'm gonna start with that one first and then we're gonna get into everything else. So this video is partially sponsored by the brand. It's a new brand. Now I should have asked. <laughs> That's the one thing I forgot to ask is the pronunciation. I think it's Lacoste, maybe? I'm probably butchering that. And then the, by, before the next time I mention it, I will have correct pronunciation for you. So like I said, they are a new brand. They do only have one product right now. Um, I don't know if their intention is to create more products, but reading about the history of this product, this one has been a long one in the making. Some of the information that they gave me is that there was three years worth of testing and 783, I believe, iterations of the oil before um, they they came to this formula. It is the Revitalise Nutrient Face Oil. Um, it features 15 high-performing, certified organic plant-based oils and extracts um, that deliver optimal nutrients for deep, lasting repair. The finest, this finest botanical oil sinks in quickly and delivers deep hydration to help rejuvenate tired skin, signs of aging, optimize stem cell mm, recruitment, excuse me, reduce redness and inflammation, and enhance clarity for lasting radiance. This potent concentration of hand-selected, all natural ingredients is safe and effective for dry, oily, combination and sensitive skin. And since I am pretty much a combination of all of those skin types, that is why I'm pretty excited about this product. And um, so yes, let's open it together. I haven't opened it first. Oh, it's backwards. Um, so here is the oil. It's very pretty. Let me actually pull up the information about the packaging because I found it to be very interesting. So inspired by Premier Musical Instruments, they used um, Wenge Wood to make the face oils dropper um, to bring you a natural and elegant experience that sparks joy. Um, our commitment to honor the skin and our environment also inspired our handmade packaging and the stylish, sustainable face oil glass bottle lovingly designed and crafted in Italy. So it is very, very pretty. Here's the little wood dropper. Let me tell you the ingredients that are in it. So it's got jojoba seed, <laughs> rosehip seed, camellia seed, argan, chia, prickly pear, avocado, sea buckthorn, evening primrose, 
vitamin E, carrot root CO2, pomegranate oil, grapeseed oil, lavender, rosemary, and then jasmine. So all things that I love already, jojoba seed is great for those of us with oily skin. Rosehip seed oil, I do really well with rosehip seed oil based formulas. Um, for a while I've been using the pie biodynamic or whatever rosehip seed oil and my skin really loves that. So that's the second ingredient in here. Um, camellia seed is very in like anti-inflammatory. There's chia seed, prickly pear, which I love. Um, sea buckthorn is also great for oily prone skin, evening primrose, um, and then carrot seed, pomegranate, lavender, and rosemary. So it does have a very, it's like jasmine, it's like a little bit of jasmine, lavender, but it's, it might be the carrot seed oil that makes it smell a little bit different, but I'm really excited to use this. So you'll see this a few more times um, on my Instagram feed and in videos here. Um, so I will begin testing this today and then you'll see it in some upcoming videos. So I just rubbed a little drop into my hand. I'm very excited to add that to my routine. I haven't been excited by an oil in a really long time, um, and I've just been using sort of like my standout favorites, like the pie rosehip one, um, the flower and spice one, when I do use oils. Um, I am testing an oil for the Art of Organics box, which you'll see on Friday. But um, I'm excited to bring a new oil in that I because I, I haven't been I haven't been that excited about an oil <clears throat> excuse me in a long time so I'm excited that they reached out to me I'm excited to be working with them and I hope that you guys are excited about learning about a new brand and um, you know hearing my feedback on the oil as I get to use it more so now let's get into the rest of what's sitting in front of me here. I guess I'll start with a purchase. So I guess I'll start with some purchases and then I'll sort of go back and forth like I did in the other video where I do purchases and then some PR and then so on and so forth. So I placed an order with Beauty Heroes. I wanted to try some more Fit Glow. Um, I wanted to specifically try their cleansers and their sea toning mist. So that's what I picked up. Really didn't need to show you that like that, I guess. <laughs> so I picked up the sea toning mist, um, and then I picked up two of the cleansers. The Age Clear Skin Detox Cleanser. I originally picked this up for my husband because he needed a new cleanser, and he's used three bottles of the Osea Ocean Cleanser. So when I asked him, do you want to try something new, or do you want me to just buy the Osea one again? He's like, you know, go ahead, go ahead and pick something new up. So I initially intended to give this to him, but I think I might want to keep it and test it out first before I give it to him and then he just uses up the whole bottle. Right now he's still finishing up the Osea and then he's using a Beauty by Earth cleanser that he seems to enjoy and it's actually pretty inexpensive. So that might be a good, a good thing for him. And then I also picked up the Calm Cleansing Milk because I'm really, really loving the Calm line from Earthwise Beauty and I want to do sort of like a whole review on the Calm, um, the Calm line. So the toning mist, the cleansing cream, the cloud comfort cream, the cloud comfort balm, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else in the cloud line or the calm line. I can't remember. Um, okay, so that was a purchase. Now let's talk about another PR thing. So I, um, I've been in talks with the company Aislin Quinn for quite a while. She has been wanting to send me her, her line so I can do a review on it. Um, but she, you know, wasn't happy with packaging or, you know, there were like a lot of different roadblocks and why she hadn't sent it to me yet. So I've been waiting for this package for, I want to say like six months. <laughs> and she finally, you know, batched a new batch and she was like, I'm happy with the packaging. So I'm going to send it out to you. So she did send me her entire collection, which right now consists of six products. There's a honey enzyme cleanser, um, a cream cleanser concentrate, which I'm excited about. <laughs> there is a fruit and flower vitality mask. Um, there is a rare orchid beauty bomb, which like, look at the color on this. So pink. And it smells, it does, it smells like orchids. I'm not sure if there's any actual orchid ingredient in it, which there is, there is orchid, <laughs> which would be why it smells like that. And then there's, there's a serum and a face oil. There's the strawberry radiance infusion and then the tropical antioxidant serum. So I'm excited. I'm excited about that line. I'm excited to bring you another full brand review in a few months once I've tested that um, quite a bit. So what's another purchase I made? I picked up um, the Skin Owl Beauty Wand. I posted about my 
my um, collection of beauty tools over on Instagram and I think one or two of you at least said um, you'd like to see a video of like de me demoing how I use each of my beauty tools and I think I'm gonna do that um, and I just got makeup all over this one so let's not do that again but um, so yeah this one I intend to use like around the eyes um, it's a stimulating wand intended to alleviate tension mi uh, mitigate under eye puffiness and increase collagen production by stimulating the soft tissue of the face um, so you can use it all over the face, but I pretty much intend to use it like around my eyes and um, for probably like headache, tension headaches and stuff like that. I don't get headaches that often anymore, but I still do get headaches or migraines. I get migraines pretty bad sometimes. It just sort of depends on um, the month, I suppose. <laughs> Um, okay, so then another PR. So I, I I almost posted about these on Instagram, but then Instagram crashed and I lost my post and then I lost the motivation to redo my post, to rewrite everything that I wrote. So I'm gonna have to like work on that. But Ojai Wild released body oils in two of their signature scents, white sage leaf and pink, white sage leaves and pink peppercorn. White sage leaves is my favorite perfume scent. And I've used this a couple of times already and it smells just as amazing as the perfume does and it actually is very, very moisturizing. And it really does help long elongate the, uh, the scent of the perfume. I know some people have issue with the scent and it doesn't last a terribly long time, um, but most natural perfumes aren't going to last that long. And I don't mind that I have to reapply a perfume. Um, usually I don't anyway, just because I'm at home and it, once it wears off, it just wears off. But if you are somebody who likes their perfume scents to last a little bit longer and you know that you like the Ojai Wild scents already, they do have two of their body oils, um, two scents in their body oils, the pink peppercorn and the white sage leaves. So if you love white sage leaves or pink peppercorn, um, they, the, the body oils do last a lot longer than the perfumes I've noticed. Um, so I still smell the body oils on myself you know, for a couple of hours after the perfume has dissipated. So there are body oils that I will be talking about on Instagram eventually once I get the motivation to repost that post that Instagram decided to delete and eat. <laughs> um, okay, so another purchase. I actually have more purchases than PR here, I think, this time. I went on sort of a little spending spree, and I need to not do that so much. So I did order from Wabi Sabi Botanicals. Um, because when I'm posting this, uh, the clean beauty box is going to be posted on Friday. Wabi Sabi Botanicals is the included brand in the Friday box or in the April box for clean beauty. So I did want to pick up a couple of other things to use, um, for the video that I'm going to be filming for that probably tonight. I'm going to do like a nighttime routine with the clean beauty box. Um, but I, I picked up another one of the toners cause I got to experience one of their toners in the beauty heroes limited edition box. That was the offering. So I picked up Still Waters, which is uh, wild lavender, tulsi, and lemongrass. I think it's supposed to be good for, yes, yeah, soothing. It's a soothing, the soothing mist. And then I also picked up the Dalmatian facial roller. Because I'm the facial rollers I have, I have a jade facial roller, but it's not very good quality. So I wanted something that I knew was going to be good quality. And I know that Elise, um, her products are extremely high quality. So I did pick up the Dalmatian facial roller. She does have a tiger's eye one too. That's really beautiful. And I might get that at some point. But um, for now, that's what I have. I have the face mist and the facial roller. <laughs> So you'll see more of Wabi Sabi and Clean Beauty Box um, in two days. So I'm going to post this one on Wednesday and that one on Friday. So this one is sort of a mix of purchases and PR. I did go ahead and pick up the full size of the Mahalo I Am Love perfume. I just couldn't resist. I absolutely love the scent of this. So I knew I had to get a full size. So I purchased that after I filmed that last video. Oh, it smells so good. It's like smoky, florally, it's just beautiful. I love that scent. Um, and then at the same time, they did send me a new bottle of Hawaiian Hydration. So I purchased one, they sent me the other, and I was almost out of my bottle of Hawaiian Hydration, so I needed a new one. <laughs> so they sent me that one. And then, okay, so let's do, I guess, a full PR 
PR thing here. Um, I got a couple of things from Nui Cosmetics. They are a cosmetics company, a vegan cosmetics company out of Berlin, but they sell them on the Green Jungle Beauty Shop. And Julie had already sent me a bunch of the Nui Cosmetics stuff um, a, sometime last year, and I haven't gotten around to filming that review yet. So she did send me a couple of other things to add to my review. So a couple of the pressed blushes, um, Anahara and Amia, um, Amam, Amaya. And let me see if I can pull those out to show you um, the colors. So this one is a Maya, which is sort of like a dusty rose color. And then Anahira is more of like a deep, deep rose color. So I'm excited to include those in that review. And then I did get one more lipstick. I did have a couple of lipsticks from them already, but I picked up one more or Julie sent me one more. So this is the lipstick in Tempora, which is sort of like a deep, let's see, can I give you a swatch? It's like a deep wine color. It's really pretty. Um, so yeah, it's an all vegan brand. They don't use any dyes. They use um, like micas and titanium dioxides. Um, but yeah, they're all vegan brand. They have foundation. They just released concealer. They just released, um, a what else did they release they oh a liquid eyeliner and I, f I feel like they released something else recently i think they launched them all at the indie beauty expo in berlin that happened in march um so yeah definitely check out the nui cosmetics if you're interested in another vegan uh makeup line i will be doing a full review on them soon but i just haven't i haven't gotten around to it yet but i will <laughs> Um, okay, so that was PR, so now let's talk about another purchase is, or another purchase. Um, I ordered from Live Botanical, I believe they were having 25% off, I can't really remember, but I wanted another body polish um, to have as backup because it is going to be getting pretty warm here and I cannot order anything that melts anymore because it is now above 80 degrees every single day and at that temperature things melt in transit so anything that i wanted to have that is meltable i needed to make sure i had while it was still in the 70s here so now I, I think i have two backups of that so that way i've got it all through the winter i also ordered their new magnolia and grapefruit refining body oil it's supposed to be lightly exfoliating and you think it's got it's got sugar maple extract which is supposed to be a little bit exfoliating um, it's got fruit acids that gently exfoliate and deflake the skin. So yeah, I was excited about that. And then they also came out with the new um, Calm and Hydrate Exfoliating Serum. I need to do like a Live Botanical sort of rediscovered um, just to sort of like go over all of the products. I've pretty much got them all and I, I love them all. There really isn't like anything from Live Botanical that I don't love. The products are all amazing quality, but like super low price, which is, I don't even, it's astounding that they can offer uh, products to that highest standard without um, the super high price tag that a lot of brands do. So if you still have not checked out Live Botanical, definitely do it. They're one of my favorite brands, um, low cost brand. Most of the products they have are $30 or under and um, you know, there's a lot of coupons flying around. I've got one if you wanna use it um, that bring the prices even lower. Um, pretty much all of them to under $30. They do have a couple of oils and um, I think this was $38, but everything is, okay, we'll say that most things are under $40, but I still, I personally find that really affordable and I, I'm ordering from Live Botanical like all the time myself. So that is, um, that's that, that was that purchase. So I don't have much PR left. So let's talk about, I think I have two things of PR left and the rest are all purchases. So this is new and this is from a brand that is new to me. Um, it's from L'Amour Magnolia, or maybe it's just L'Amour. I'm not sure um, if it's L'Amour Magnolia, L'Amour Organics. It's one of the two, but they sent me a body oil. They have a couple of different body oils. This one is in the scent Cool Breeze, which is supposed to be kind of cooling, which I thought would be great for summer. And then they sent me a couple of bath bombs. Um, let's see, they're made with olive fruit oil, sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, sea salt, essential oils. Oh, so this has three, three bath bombs in it. Um, it's got one that I guess is like a sit, uh, sea breeze scent, one that's orange scent, and one that's lavender scented. So yeah, 
I'm I'm still taking baths, so I'm excited to use those. So Lamore does have a lot of non-vegan products. They've I I initially didn't. Um, I work with a PR brand that works with Lamar, and initially I didn't even reach out about Lamar because I know that um, they have a lot of products that contain like beef tallow, so I didn't even know that they had any products that would be considered vegan. And when I was talking to her um, over the, you know a couple weeks ago, she was telling me that they that they are starting to create more vegan products to cater to you know vegans. So. If you don't have a problem buying from brands that also use, you know, ingredients that you wouldn't use yourself, that is um, a brand that's out there that you can try. So actually, I want to smell this. I'm excited to use this in the summer. It's pretty friggin' hot here. I want to smell it. Oh yeah, it's definitely, it smells like peppermint. So you know how like when you do peppermint body anything, it like sort of gives you like a cool cooling tingle. Yeah. That one will be great if you want something cooling for the summer. Um, okay. So a few more purchases and then we'll do my last PR thing. So I saw somebody talk about these in a group that I was in and then I immediately went out to Target and bought them. I guess Pacifica came out with pore strips. I had no idea. They like come out with stuff all the time. And Pacifica is not a brand that I use a ton of because a lot of their stuff contain, well, pretty much all of their stuff contains fragrance. Um, it can be pretty irritating to some people and that you know Pacifica is more known for being vegan and cruelty free than for being like natural and clean. A lot of their ingredients are clean but they do use some um, that most people wouldn't consider clean you know like phenoxyethanol or fragrance perfume. Um, I don't think they use any dyes in anything but a lot of their stuff is very very heavily fragranced but there hasn't been a vegan nose strip or like pore strip ever. So I really wanted to give these a go. I've been meaning to do a video on these, like do they really work or do they work as good as I remember like the Biore pore strips working, you know, back when I was a teenager. And you know, I have better skin than when I was a teenager, so I don't expect like whatever comes off my nose to be as nasty as it was when I was a kid because I, I you know, I keep my skin pretty clean and I, you know, do extractions and things like that. But I, st I do still, I might want, I might still do that video, but it's got, it's made with uh, PVA, glycerin, licorice root extract, witch hazel, hemp oil extract, tea tree oil, and xanthan gum. So the ingredients are actually pretty good on this. They're not fragranced with anything. Um, if anything, they'll probably just smell like tea tree. So yeah, if you have been wanting a vegan pore strip, a cruelty-free pore strip, Pacifica now has them. So go to your local Target and get one. Um, I also placed a couple of orders one with the granola goat and one with Lonnie hair. So Lonnie recently re released their Blue Mint facial cleansing powder. Um, Lonnie did send me their entire collection last year, which I haven't gotten around to testing yet. Um, I should do it soon because they're vegan. They're an all vegan brand. They're extremely affordable. They do offer free shipping worldwide, even though I think they're in London. Um, so you can still get all of their products for free shipping. And I don't think they sell them in many other places. There aren't, I was looking online and I was trying to find like a store that they were in and I wasn't finding that they were in pretty much any. So I did pick this one up myself. They did send me the rest of the collection, but I just went ahead and picked this one up myself. I'm pretty excited about it. It smells like Kind of smells like a Thin Mint, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, this will also be really great for, you know, like summer, you want something cooling because it's got the mint in it. But it's made with coconut milk, uh, kaolin clay, uh, white clay, oat flour, jojoba, vanilla, peppermint. Yeah, I like them. They're, in, like I said, they're all vegan and their ingredients are pretty minimal in all of their products as well. So I need to get around to testing that is like a more affordable brand. And then I did place an order with Granola Goat. I got a refill of their Fresh AF um, cleansing grains, but I've been compiling a pile of products to do sort of like a collective giveaway. And I think I might throw this one in um, to the giveaway instead of using it because I do have their refresh powder cleanser that I still need to use and the Fresh AF is like one of my favorites. So I might actually save that for the giveaway to give to one of you guys. And then I got the SOS mask, um, which is a dry face mask. It's made with matcha powder, uh, sacha inchi, French green clay, turmeric, and lavender. And then I did just pick up an oil. I sometimes, you know, I'm I'm not trying to collect too many oils, but um, this one sounded interesting. It's a one. It's called one in a melon. It's made with watermelon seed oil, um, sea buckthorn sandalwood and manuka, not manuka honey, but manuka 
there's like a plant, Manuka plant. Um, so yeah, that one was really interesting. So I thought I would just go ahead and pick that one up and give it a try. And a Granola Goat, again, is a really affordable brand. Um, she makes a lot of really great products at a really affordable price point. So if you have not checked out the Granola Goat yet, I highly recommend that you do. She makes my favorite cleansing grains. The Fresh AF one is one of my favorites. She makes great dry face masks. Um, she makes balms and oils with, I think, like four or five ingredients or less. A lot of them are very minimal ingredients. And again, really, really affordable. Okay, so the last purchase that I've got is from RMS. I placed this in two different orders. I placed an order on Pharmaca because I love buying like RMS from Pharmaca because I usually get 20 to 25% off depending on what the discount is. And then I ordered um, from RMS directly. And now I can't remember what I ordered from RMS directly and what I ordered from Pacifica, so I'm just gonna lump it all together. So I did pick up two of their Swift Shadows. I've been wanting to try them for a while. I've heard mixed reviews on them. Some people love them. Some people think they're crap. I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to pick a couple up because there's a couple of shades that I've been eyeing for a really long time. Um, I picked up Garden Rose, which is, I mean, I'm, I'm in love with pinks lately, so I mean, it was only natural that I was gonna pick this one up. And then I also really love taupey purples. This one is Enchanted Moonlight. So these are like my two favorite eyeshadow colors ever. So I had to pick those up. Give them a try, see what they're all about. See if they are really crap or maybe people are just biased, hating on RMS, who knows. I also got the powder eyeshadow brush um, because I think I've heard some people say that it doesn't work with like other brushes or maybe RMS said use their brush. I don't know, I just picked it up. I picked up the powder brush. We'll try it, we'll see how it goes. I also picked up one of their eye polishes um, in Embrace, which is, can you guess which color? If you don't know what color Embrace is, it's pink. <laughs> I wore this one in the Edible Beauty review that I did. Um, if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. But I kind of like am obsessed with the look that I did. It was mostly RMS. I used the RMS Blush and Modest. I used the eye polish in Embrace. I used um, the new powder highlighter, which I picked up, the new luminizing powder, and this one is in Grande Dame. Um, just first warning, don't ever drop these on your feet because they are friggin' heavy. I dropped this on my foot, opening it for the very first time, and I have a bruise on the top of my foot. So yeah, this is um, just the lightest shade. It's actually pretty, it's like pretty pigmented. So yeah, I was wearing this in that video as well. I think the only thing that wasn't RMS was like my foundation and my lipstick. I think I was wearing the Akar lip balm in that video. Okay, so I also picked up the Swift Shadow Trio, um, which was like a gift with purchase and then she decided to release it on her website. And this also had pinks, so I'm obsessed with pinks lately. It's got Love Letter, which is a dusty pale pink it's got, oh, I'm making a mess of my swatch here. It's got Heartbreaker, which is a deep topaz with warm undertones, and then Secret Fling, which is an enticing mulberry mauve. So I thought this would be really pretty, especially this color. So just trying some of the Swift shadows. We'll see how they go. Maybe I'll love them. Maybe I'll hate them. Who knows? I also picked up one of the lipsticks. I wanted to try their lipstick formula. Their lipsticks, um, let's see, do they contain beeswax? They do. They do contain beeswax and they're made with dyes. So just keep that in mind if you are opposed to either of those things. I got like the most neutral shade that I could find um, and it was Temptation. Yeah, it's the Temptation shade. So let me swatch that here next to this other one. So there's that. It's just sort of like a dusty rose pretty neutral. I figured it would go good with like everything basically. Um, then I picked up the tinted unpowder in two to three because I wear shade 22 in their concealer. And I want to do sort of like a full brand RMS review. I wonder if this one, I hope this won't be too dark. I don't think it will be though. It's like, it's not the tinted unpowders. I don't think are super pigmented. They're not like a foundation, but the RMS highlighter video that I have on my channel is actually my most viewed video <laughs> since it seems to be a pretty popular um, search on the uh, on the YouTubes. Okay, so the last one that I've got is my last PR and it's my last everything. 
Um, Malaya Organics recently released four new products to the line, which I'm dying about. Um, I love Malaya. Their Neem Honey Mask is one of my favorite masks of all time. I use it like twice a week. I just love it so much. So I was really excited to learn that she was coming out with some new products. So she's got a new mist or a, a mist. She never had a mist before. This is the Hydrating Mist in Refresh and Renew. And it is such a stunning color. And I think the color comes from, um, I wanna say it is the Butterfly Pea Flower. Yeah, it's the Butterfly Pea Flower that gives it this like purple color. This does have beeswax in it, which I find very interesting. I'm gonna need to talk to her about why that's included in the formula because I've never seen a mist with beeswax in the formula. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get in contact with her about that because it's I find that very kind of interesting and strange that there's beeswax in that formula. Um, then she's got the hand butter to protect and replenish. Um, this one also does have beeswax and then it's got what gives it that blue. I'm actually not sure what gives it that color. There's shea butter, mango butter, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, uh, more cocoa butter. Oh, coconut, did I say cocoa butter? Mango butter, cocoa butter, jojoba oil, horsetail, calendula, marshmallow root, plantain leaf, barrage, comfrey leaf, licorice root, argan oil, beeswax, aloe leaf juice, pea peptides, uh, vegetable glycerin, vitamin E, and then aroma. I feel like I know that there's blue tansy in here. She said this is great for eczema, so that's, I'm, I'm developing an eczema patch right here. I develop eczema in like the weirdest places. Don't, I still don't know exactly what it's related to, but I'm, I'm testing this on this eczema patch to see how quickly it goes away. So she's also got the new cleansing oil and makeup remover, Nourish and Soothe. So this is a rinseable cleansing balm. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm pretty excited to. So it's apricot, sweet almonds, sound, uh, safflower, jojoba, olive, and then it's got, um, the it's scented with Bulgarian rose chamomile lavender it's very beautiful <clears throat> okay so then we got two other things so she also recently released the firming eye serum stem cell and peptide complex this one does come in a little rolly which I'm excited about I love eye serums that come with like little roller balls um, more than any others, except for creams. I love creams. And then she recently, she released, uh, perfumes in three different scents. And I got sent the Wild Blossom scent, which is frankincense and citrus, lavender, cedarwood, and amber. And this one is beautiful too. I already put on the, uh, well, you know, I could probably still put on, put a little bit of this on, mix it in with my, mix it in with my, um, like it's yeah I smell lavender above everything else my mahalo that's what I was trying to say so yeah she's got a lot of really great products and I do have a discount code for malaya.com um, now I didn't before but I do now so I'll leave that down below in case you're shop interested in shopping anything at malaya you can get 15% off using my code and let's see what else do I have codes for I've got codes for the green jungle beauty shop where you can get the Nui cosmetics I've got codes for live botanical I have codes for that actually might be it so yeah if you're interested in purchasing anything I will leave all of it linked down below um, let me know if there's anything specifically that you want to see reviews on maybe sooner than others um, this will be the only face oil that I'm using for the next at least month or so I'm pretty excited about it the formula just looks fantastic um, I'm really excited to be partnering with this company to review their their product and um, yeah, if there's anything else specifically that you want to see sooner rather than later, um, just let me know. And I will definitely be working on a beauty tools video. That would be a good one to do. And then, yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully the packages don't pile up again and I'm, do I'm doing another one of these next month. But if you guys enjoy them, I will keep doing them. If you, you know, if I start to hear that you don't enjoy these so much, I will stop doing them. Um, because I want to do stuff that you guys enjoy watching and that's fun for me too. I kind of I sort of like to go back over through the stuff that I've bought and received and sort of refresh myself on what I have and what I'm the most excited about. I'm pretty much excited about everything here because if I wasn't excited about it, I wouldn't accept it or purchase it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if there's anything, even if there's anything that you want to see some reviews on. 
I think in the last video someone mentioned the Eric Perez cosmetics, which I am going to look into. Um, yeah, if there's anything else that you want to see, let me know and I can, you know, make some purchases or contact a company and I will see you guys in my next one.